Hi there, students. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Students, can you hear me? Yeah. Today, today we are going to start a very brand new lesson in the mechanics. In the mechanics syllabus, a brand new part. What is that? Momentum. You have learned momentum so far. In your level, back in grade 10, before that you didn't know. According to your grade 10 knowledge, you know, momentum is a, such a simple thing like what? Mass multiplied product multiplied by the velocity. The product of mass and velocity is said to be momentum. That's what you learn. But I have to ask you a very simple question. You used to know what? Newton's laws of motion. Even back in grade 10. So, in terms of the Newton's laws of motion, when we say Newton's second law, we just have to know only one equation. What? That is Fp equals to Ma. This is what we just know, and this is what we practice to apply. But in A level, I'm sure all of you have done Newton's laws of motion so far. But in terms of Newton's laws of motion, now it's completely different. It's in an extremely different level now. So, <clears throat> in all level, you just have to apply when there is a mass. You just have to apply a certain force. As a uh, force, it will get accelerated. That's what you have to know. But in A level, you have to apply what vectors sometimes you have to focus on the result and nothing it's not all there are some other types of forces like of tension tension is also not drive driven through the direction of the force applied it is with some inclination you have to again apply some vector knowledge apart from that friction and some other types of forces applied you don't still know the types of forces that are going to those are going to come. Those are going to come up like magnetic field forces and electrostatic forces, gravitational forces, and many other forms. And the upthrust you have will have to apply, but so far you don't know. But you know something which is completely different from all level momentum. So, in terms of momentum, also you will find different sectors. As an example, in all level, we just have to know like mass of an object and the velocity just multiply and find out the product. Oh, product will be given. And one, one of these like mass or velocity not given and just have to substitute and find out. That's what we have to know so far. But in A level, it's a different structure. Even for a gas column, air column, or like uh, water column, we have to apply this theory of momentum in that. Today we are going to learn. Today itself. Right? Today itself we are going to learn what is momentum. In terms of momentum, we have to apply that for gases as well as in all level we didn't know change of momentum. The change of momentum also we have to get from your A level understanding even from all level understanding, can you tell me what is the change of velocity? Hmm? Simple question. What is change of velocity? How can we obtain change of velocity? Yeah, I got a one answer. How can we get the change of velocity? I need one another answer whether you know or not. In A level, we just learn. 
in my class we finished it like yes very good no no i didn't ask you the acceleration i just asked you what is the change of velocity yes yes i got oh yes final velocity minus the initial velocity then what is it going to be before your this is a level class not an all level so what is delta p actually i am not eating yet so far this is like a just a trailer just a trailer i'm just showing you the trailer until everybody to join i'm going to show you the film ah delta p like so the same way as of what velocity factor we subtract what final velocity minus initial velocity is the change of velocity in this momentum case final momentum minus initial momentum is the change of velocity very good sudarshini ramanulla everybody is really good ah uh, this is the second time i am seeing that name like ramanulla that's an afghanistan cricketer who's called ramanulla gurbas are you any relative to him <laughs> right final momentum minus initial momentum up to this part today i am planning to teach you i am planning to teach you up to change of momentum in momentum lesson the, the most important part is to understand change of momentum right once you understand what is change of momentum everything is going to be satisfiable but most of the students they don't know how to get change of momentum if you take a look at of 2011 year 2011 uh as a question there was a change of momentum part but mostly people were really got wind up twisted me let me show you what is momentum with the physical example according to momentum what is momentum the mass multiplied by the velocity product of mass and velocity is momentum right here if you increase mass if you just increase mass momentum also increase or if you just increase velocity also momentum increases if you increase momentum sorry mass and velocity both together momentum also increase by double the factor right let me show you with some physical example there are three balls this is what a plastic ball regular ball this is harmless and a tennis ball and a regular cricket ball called as leather balls now i am going to throw these three balls with same velocity like this velocity of v so how about the momentum of this one will this be able to break a uh, glass at least no if it strike against my face will it be painful yeah there will be a certain pain but not lethal not long lasting but this one if this one strikes against my face in the following morning or even two days after it might be uh, pr producing some kind of scar on the face why what is the difference between this but apparently same size apparently same size but there is a mass factor of this one is very low but the mass factor of this one is considerably high it's called considerably high not extremely high but considerably typically high right but this one if this ball strikes on my face or anywhere in my body i'll definitely have to get hospitalized or sometimes i might die you might have heard of that news of one australian cricketer who died back in 2014 you might be really small at that but the figure came to say six who know that he got the ball struck on his neck his name was philip hughes 
right then after everybody searched about that at that time even there were like uh, more than nine cricketers died more than nine cricketers died due to cricket accidents of the boys okay now i'm trying to show you one thing right i am going to hit this against nearby wall right harmless you might heard the new sound even but i am also trying to do with this one this is kind of dangerous but i'll try it's too fast that i couldn't catch even but i will never try with this one one once i try with this one my mom will come up with a regular bat that is nothing other than her broom and will hammer me you will hear even bigger sound that's my screaming why don't i throw this one because this one is traveling at the same velocity but with higher mass higher mass contain really high momentum how about this one plastic ball might have a mass of somewhere like 5 to 10 grams very very light but a bullet regular gun bullet which has the mass of some some may like even smaller than this has the potential of killing me and penetrate to the wall even right wall even why what is the reason behind that <laughs> i have many balls at home and i used to be a cricketer na i have many like more than 20 to 30 cricket balls and baseball and everything so this one is very lighter a bullet is as light as this one but traveling with a really high velocity has the capacity to demolish anything confronting that can you understand the momentum factor momentum can be changed by mass or the velocity okay or you have seen if you are cricket enthusiast the batsman face without wearing head gear against what the spinners because why spinners are normally rolling around uh, 80 km per hour 70 km per hour that means somewhere like 20 to 25 meters per second that's negotiable even the ball hits it cannot break the bonds and fracture but in terms of what uh, fast bowlers they bowl around more than 35 meters per second and 40 meters per second that speed is too much and the momentum factor this momentum factor is capable of breaking the bonds and making a severe damage severe damage so this is what all about the momentum but i didn't teach you the momentum theory so far i have a better solution for that normally i don't teach the theory on this board because this is useless so for that i have a better option that better option is nothing other than my virtual board in my virtual board i can demonstrate all with some animations and multiple colors and all this. so let me one minute i will show you all the details and the real theory is going to begin now get ready your not a notepad like a book or whatever now i am going to start the real lesson within one minute okay stay there Hi, can you see this one? Right. This is where I'm going to start the new lesson. So, confirm me whether you can hear me. 
so that's why i told you i use this one because in this one i can show the most uneven but in regular board i can't show because this lesson is really an interactive lesson this is not something like a regular lesson in this one i have to show you many variabilities okay good confirm me for the very last time am i audible for you am i audible for you yeah enough good now open your book and write a very big topic momentum momentum right and this is the only lesson without having a proper definition why actually this one doesn't have any proper definition we only use the equation itself to say as the definition right so before writing any definition i would like you to use anything like something important because mostly students used to put something like a star sign i say don't use because this is for some special point but i strongly say definitions are extra important so i normally use like hashtag or dollar sign you can use whatever symbol you feel comfortable with right okay so write the definition now i am going to write the definition of momentum but before so first of all let me explain you what is momentum again the product of mass and velocity if a body moves with the velocity of v we used to say it has the momentum of p right this momentum of p so how does the momentum changes as i explained earlier there are certain factors one factor is what the one factor is mass as the mass increases what happen i as i explained with the cricket balls when the mass increase momentum increase and another thing as i show you again with the bullet thingy momentum also increase with the velocity when the velocity increases of a bullet it's it's a very small object compared to the cricket ball but has a very high demolishing power than the cricket ball why because as the velocity increase momentum also linearly increase with that so the definition is going to be what we have to write the definition first i will write and you also have to write so write this the quantity of motion the quantity the quantity quantity of motion motion of a moving body moving body measured as measured as a product a product product of what a product of it is mass and velocity this is really important that's why i wrote that on the board even copy this into your book
Okay. What is it? Say that again for the very last time. The quantity of motion of moving a body measured as a product of a product of its mass and velocity. So as you know, when you increase the mass, the momentum factor increase. As you increase the velocity, also momentum increase. Let's see. Let's see that. Okay. I am going to explain you this one with some numerical examples because you always are pleading for numerical. This is really crazy because mm -hmm. all level, but revising the all level thingy is also going to be really helpful. Why? P equals to mv is the equation that I have to apply. And if somebody who can't understand, it's better to use now. What is m? m equals 5 and the velocity is 10. What is the overall momentum? Ah, I forgot one thing in the previous one. So, wait, I have to show you actually the units of this one. I just forgot, give me a one second. Right. So, how about the units? It is again m multiplied by v. What is m stands for? V. Did this one in unit one, like so units and dimension thingy. But let's do one that for again one last time. Kg. And velocity is ms minus 1. So the unit is kg. So I would rather write the unit on here. Kg ms minus 1 is the unit of this one. So I'll write it again here. Kg ms minus 1. Okay. So copy this one. I just forgot previously. Right, okay. So, what is the unit is going to be? 50 kg ms minus 1. A simple example. Very simple example. Right. Another thing. So, how to get this one? The velocity is the unknown factor for this one. This is what we used to learn in grade 10. Right. Again, write the equation. P equals to mv and you have to get v subjected and p over m right let me apply it is like 10 kilogram sorry momentum is some 50 and kg ms minus 1 and divided by mass of what 10 kilogram so, kg and kg cancel off with each other, 0 and 0 cancel off. And my answer is going to be 5 meters per second. Right. In the same way, the very next one, I will do myself because these are really simple examples. P equals mv. And you have to find out mass here, mass is momentum over velocity right what is my momentum 400 kg ms minus 1 and what is velocity factor here 20 ms minus 1 ms minus 1 and ms minus 1 cancel off each other and 1 0 cancel off and 2 my velocity factor is going to be but 20 ms minus 1. These are actually really simple ones. But I will give you something you to do. See how easy this one is. Hmm. So we have spent very small time gap here. 
I don't even recommend you to write this, but if you really want to, you can copy this taking some time of like mm -hmm, 20 seconds, no more than that. Okay, now let's do something else. Right, I have given you the basic structure even. Now write this as a question. This is, I am going to go for extremely important theory through this one. Right, extremely important theory through this question. So you would better write and do the question really carefully. Okay, now write. There are two masses. There are two masses. There are two masses. Each has the mass of each has the mass of five kilograms and ten kilogram respectively respectively 5 kilogram and 10 kilogram respectively five kilogram and 10 kilogram respectively and write this in a new line of force of 5 newton a force of 5 newton apply a force of 5 newton a force of 5 newton apply <coughs> force of 5 newton applied separately on both the objects as following you would better copy this diagram in this manner, writing this one here, writing this one here. It's really important because this shows you how to apply. Write in the following manner and write this in a new line. Before writing, copying this, find out the momentum of each momentum of each body after a time interval of after a time interval of after a time interval of 5 seconds after a time interval of 5 seconds hmm after a time interval of five seconds. Copy this in the same structure. Don't change the structure, it's really important. And another point, okay. Okay, we can write it later. Now copy this and find out momentum. Momentum of this one and momentum of this one. I have given the instruction what to do. The first thing is apply a equals MA and find out the acceleration and apply that acceleration to here and find out the velocity then apply to f equals to p equals to mv and get the momentum 
I'll give you like uh, three minutes, more than enough. More than enough. Right, your timer begins now. Okay. Now your time is over. I will show you how to do this. Let me just enlarge this one for one moment. Okay. Now see, this is the five kilogram ball. At the beginning, it provided with the force of five Newton and it will get moved like this. And this one is a 10 kilogram object. It would just move like this manner. Why doesn't it do? It, it, it will travel slower. Why? Because the same force is applied. Now, firstly, apply to Newton's first law of motion according to the instructions. F equals to ma. And the acceleration is force over mass. The force factor is also 5 Newton, this one. And the mass factor is what? Again, 5. So what is my acceleration is going to be? My acceleration is 1 ms minus 1. Sorry, minus 2 acceleration. Minus 2. Now I have to apply to this equation since it started with uh, stationary position. Like from 0 rest. So V is equals to 1 times 5 because the time taken is some 5 seconds. Right. Again, see here, final velocity attained is 5 ms minus 1. Great. Now I am going to apply to the equation of momentum. What is the equation of momentum is going to be? P equals to mv. So P equals m is like 5 and the velocity again 5. It is like 25 kg ms minus 1. I think you got the point. Okay, kg ms minus 1. Right. Did anybody, everybody understand this one? Am I there or not? Okay. Now the same method. It is going to be the same method again. Have a good look at F equals to MA. So my force is the same force of 5. Right, same force of 5. Mass is 10 and the acceleration factor, that's the thing I don't know. 5 over 10. What is my acceleration is going to be? 0 0.5 ms minus 2. Right. I am going to apply to the above equation again. V equals to u plus at. Right. What is velocity? This factor is 0. And the acceleration is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And time is the same time period of 5. So my velocity is a very low one in this time, 2.5 ms minus 1. Right. Now, in the final step, I am going to apply to velocity and mass production. What is it? Mass is 10 kilogram in this time and the velocity is 2.5. What is my momentum? 25 kg ms minus 1. The importance here 
he is not getting these answers. There is a hidden theory here. Okay, copy this. I will give you like 30 seconds. Copy this in this same structure. Don't change the structure. Now the impo most important question I am going to give you, right? The most important question is this, right? This question with triple star, because this is a extremely important theory comes up with this question, right? It? Comment on The momentum, the object, the momentum gain, the momentum gain by each object under same time, under the same amount of force, under the same amount of force. Okay, now you have to write this as a treaty size. Take one minute and try your own answer. I will give you much important answer with the definitions. Take your one minute and write. Actually, this question gives you the basic step to the very important theory called impulse. Impulse. Okay, Lamai. I'll give you 30 seconds more. Hmm. Okay, enough. Now write this answer with this type of triple star point. It's really important. When sa same amount of force, forces, same amount of forces, same amount of forces, were applied on different masses, if two different masses, same amount of forces were applied on different masses, not two, just any number of, it doesn't matter, different masses individually, individually. Over a time, over a 
certain fixed time period over a certain fixed time period. Over a similar time period. Write this in a new line. Write this in a new line. Even though, even though, number one, the acceleration, have a good look at, acceleration is different. See, it is different. In this one, 0 0.5. In this one, 1. Even though the acceleration, the velocity gain, the velocity gain, okay, velocities are also different. And you already know this. What is the kinetic energy equation from your grade 10 knowledge? Half mv square. When velocity increases differently, you know, this one increase or decrease accordingly. So, even though I didn't calculate that, it include that one too. Velocity and kinetic energy changes, and the kinetic energy changes, and the kinetic energy changes. Ha, write this in another new line with the triple five star point. This would be a five star point. The change of momentum is similar. The change of momentum is similar. The change of momentum is similar. Have a good look at both the objects get the same amount of momentum. How about it? P1 equals 25 and P2 is also 25. Can you understand that beauty in this nature? Whenever you are applying a same amount of force on different objects under same period of time, the momentum gained is always similar. Is my voice lagging, Lamai? Somebody told me my voice is kind of lagging. Is that true? Then I have to change my uh, network. If I'm lagging, just let me know. Might be the student is lagging from her side. Who knows? If I am lagging, just let me know. Okay, guys. Nobody told me about whether am I lagging or not. No. All ah, right. Thank you. That might be a problem for her side. Okay. Now, this is a really important theory. Now, let's go for the further more understanding of this theory. Okay. As I told you earlier, an object with a mass and which is moving at velocity of V has a certain physical quantity called what? Momentum. Right? Has a certain physical quantity called momentum. Am I audible? Now I change the device even. Okay, I change the device. 
am I audible enough now? Yeah, okay. As I told you, the object moves with the velocity of V, it contains something called momentum. And the unit, as I told you, it's kg ms minus one. And more importantly, what is the dimension? Kg is stands for M and this one L and the S minus one is T minus one, M L T minus one. As I told you, the momentum changes with mass and momentum changes with velocity. Now I'm going to give you much more set, uh, sophisticated data here. Have a good look at both the objects. One is having a mass of M1 and this one has a bigger mass of M2. This one has a momentum of V1. The other one has a momentum of V2. But the, both the objects are traveling at the velocity of V. Let's see how does it change. Same velocity because why? Both the objects are moving at the same velocity. Right. Now let me know. What about the momentum factor? In the first one, momentum is a very low because mass is really low. One. The reason is mass is low. In the second one, under the same velocity, but has a higher mass, so the momentum factor is greater. Right. In this manner. Now the mass is same. See, this one has a mass of m. This one has the same mass of simple m. Now let me just move this one faster. This one is moving really fast. See? But the other object is moving kind of slow. Slow manner. See? Slow manner than the other one. It has the same mass. It has the same mass. But in terms of the velocity, first one has a really high velocity. So the momentum of the first object is greater than of the momentum of the second one. I thought of giving you some numerical. This is all about what? Symbols and the algebra. I know some of the students are really feeling annoying with this type of algebraical symbols. So I decided to go along with some numerical values. Okay, both the objects are traveling at velocity of 10 ms minus one, but one is a 5 kg one, the other one is 10 kg. Let's see the momentum of the first one. How about it? Five times 10, the momentum of the left hand side one is 50 kg ms, minus one. Let's see that of the right hand side one. This one is the mass of what? P2, 10 and the velocity of 10. So the P2 is going to be 100 kg ms minus one. Now have a good look at how does it change? Now see, oh sorry, yeah, we do. And the P1, P1 is lower than of P2. What is the reason? What is the reason? The reason is M1 is lower than of M2, even though the velocities are same. Right. Now let's go for the right hand side thing. Similar mass of 10 kilogram, 10 kilogram each, but this one is traveling under velocity of 20. This one is under some 100 meters per second. Let's see. In the first one, P1, how can it be? 10 multiplied by 20. The momentum is still a really high one, 200 kilograms per kg ms minus one right in the second one let me show you in the second one it is p2 how does it change the 
the mass is 10 and the velocity is 100. So the momentum is really high now. It is what? 1000 kg ms minus 1. So now have a good look at P2 is greater than of P1. The reason is what? V2 is way greater than of velocity of P1. Even though the mass factor is same. I think you'd better copy if you want. You'd better copy if you want. Okay. I'll enlarge this and reduce this to space. Now you may see both. You see this? I'll give you like two minutes if you want to copy. This is not actually momentum. This is like really simple thing yet. Actually, the real momentum begins at this page. Change of momentum. I will teach you what is that. Now, this is like just touching. Another 30 seconds. You have another 30 seconds. If you want to copy. People seem to have really bad internet connection now. The reason is IPL. Because most of the guys are watching IPL through some online platform. The network traffic is really going to get high now in this moment. Because most of the people don't have the luxury of dialogue TV. You know? They watch the match using online platform, then the network traffic getting really high. Normally in my place, it's a really good connection is there, but it's also buffer today. So that's the reason. Okay, mm -hmm. I gave you enough time. Now write something really important. I made it even before the class was started because this is something really important. This may look like very awkward diagram, no? Don't worry. Don't worry. I will tell you what is this. Now write a big topic. Momentum of a moving fluid column. Momentum of a moving fluid column. What is it? Momentum. Momentum of a moving 
fluid column. Fluid. What is a fluid? Okay, write this reason. What is the fluid? A liquid or a gas column. A fluid column. You might ask me, where is the column? I will show you. So this is like a reservoir, like in a, a lake. This is like a water reservoir. Water reservoir. And this is like a regular tap. Means a tube. It's a tube. Right. Let me show you how does it change. See, this is how the fluid flow through it. See, this is how the fluid may flow through it. Isn't that? That's why I told you this. I normally use this board rather than other conventional boards. Why? In this one, I can show you how would fluid even move. Right. In this fluid column, it moves forward. So this fluid column has a momentum has a momentum if you watch news in these days you see what uh, there are people who do the protest what does the government do there is a very big tank like vehicle there is a certain tube there they just trust what fast moving water column at them and this water column is capable of damaging their body and make them pain. So this is really something you see in the day-to-day -day news channels, right? Water attack by the government. Why? Because this fluid has a high momentum. High momentum. Let's find out how to change all, how to formulate what? momentum in a moving fluid column right you don't want to draw this one i drew it only for the explanation purpose only now copy this one only not that one the diagram now i'm drawing write this in a new line for a liquid or gas column for a liquid or gas column which is moving forward with a uniform cross-section area with the uniform cross-section area and having a density of rho and having a density of rho and the velocity of v and a velocity of v in this time, we only consider this thing. See? The air column, move forward. Or the liquid column, move forward. So it has a momentum. Momentum of P. Right? So if you want to draw the previous diagram even as an example, but I don't recommend that. I just got this one only for the explanation purpose the water flow through the tank and the tunnels like this that's what i only wanted to show you so you don't want to draw that draw this diagram only if you want if you want to you can copy the other one too firstly draw any of these diagram this is really important in back in year 2000 there was a question Essay question. MCQs are coming in all the years. Remember that one MCQ may determine your university dream and which university you are going to go. At least if you are just expecting one next pass, simple thing. If your mark is just one little smaller than your required mark, you will be graded with the game. So one MCQ will determine your entire 
journey to so listen to all okay. the points with high gap okay let's see i think you copied this diagram as i know that p equals nothing other than the question mark firstly a question mark what is p a big question now i'm going to copy this again p equals to mv but unfortunately v is there v is there yes but mass is not there mass is a question mark now tell me how to find out the unknown mass i will tell you mass is hidden inside this density row mass is hidden inside the density of row now write this in the new line the mass can be obtained by means of density in your o level you know this one density sorry density equals to mass over volume even grade 6 students know this and then and then you know the kila in our age we learn this thing in grade 6 in simply d equals to m over g and remember it has a length of l and has traveled a time of t right so here the density is rho because of a fluid for fluids we use the symbol of rho instead of t while so right like this rho equals to m over v m equals to rho v right this is my equation number 1 this is my equation number 2 but this v is a capital v this v is simple v don't wind up with these two this is capital this is simple because why this is about volume this is velocity don't wind up samaru lassanta patla ganno don't wind up now i'm going to put this in equation number 2 into the equation number 1 i am going to put the equation number 2 into equation number 1 now have a look at what is it going to be v equals to rho capital v times simple v capital v times simple v okay now how to find out volume from this one all level knowledge what is volume this is equation number 3 what is volume volume equals to area into length area into length right volume means what area into length equation number what four now i will put equation number four into equation number three and form the equation of what p equals rho a l dot v rho l right how to find out this length equation number 5 okay let me explain you that a distance of l a distance of l covered within time of t distance of l covered within time of t okay what is the meaning of this one 
we know that velocity equals to length over time right if time is unit time unit time what is unit time one second so we can't we take l as v itself just let me know can't we take l as v this is a real important logic so let me know whether you understood so far whether you understood so far let me just know Lamai, i need your response you understood so far or not because this equation is really important one hmm. Hmm. yes understood good good i got like more than six to seven answers enough now this is the final most now i'm going to the final nail to the copy equation number six i'm going to plug this in now the equation is getting finalized like this when what b equals to equation number six into equation number five b equals to rho a b dot b it looks really ugly now let me get it really beautiful looking one rho a v to the power 2 is my momentum equation don't try to remember this equation you have to show and get it marks are given for this is not a standard equation you have to derive and show this i will give you like two minutes copy this diagram to your book Copy this entire process to your book. I'll give you two minutes. Now I'm going to start the timer. Copy it clearly. You might be wondering why I am using this board instead of the physical board because some of the students are really comfortable with the physical board. <laughs> but you will see in your real physics now has began actually. In real physics, you will have to prove this type of millions of equations and the stuff in the physical board. I will never be able to show you the relationships this clear. Right? I will never be able to show you this type of motion thing. See how does it move and the stuff. So that's why this board is more important. So even though this some students don't like, but the students who see the importance of this one, I know that they are with me. So I keep using this one. Okay, time is over. Now let me show you one important thing. Can you see the amount of work we done? See, I will never be able to use this type of amount of work in regular board if I am about to discuss the questions like this. I will never be able to use regular word to discuss questions like this clear. Can you understand? 
So that's the one of the reason I use this board instead of those conventional whiteboards. Right. I gave you enough time. I think you have copied this one. Let's move on to the most important topic in this lesson. Change of momentum. Treat this topic as the king of momentum. This topic is the king of momentum. King. This one is what? The king. Treat this one as the king. King of momentum. If you understand. Change of momentum, anything is possible in momentum. So if you only want to, I will give you like one minute refreshment time, like drinking some water and come. <laughs> Even because this is really important. If you feel like kind of stressed after doing many multiple like marathon work, Bring some water and come. Taking one minute. It is that important. Absolutely the most important. Hmm. Okay. Let me show you. So in the first place, there is an object which has a mass of simple length and which is moving under some velocity of u, initial velocity of u. Or it might be stationary, who knows? Or moving under really high velocity. Whatever is possible. Now, it turns to final momentum with the, according to the velocity, that means from a small velocity to very large velocity. Or very large velocity to small velocity or some velocity to stationary position. Anything is possible. Any combination is possible. But it takes some time of t here. At the beginning, time is zero. At the end, there is a time of t it has taken. There is a time of t has taken by it. Right. Let's see. So the change of momentum in by means of words. Let's write it like this. What is the initial momentum that I can write? Pi equals to mu. Pf equals to mv. Right. So according to word equation, I can write it like change of momentum equals to final momentum subtracted by initial momentum final momentum subtracted by initial momentum very important equation very important equation just as a symbol i can write it like delta p equals to final momentum minus in a cell momentum. Right. So as I know this one, I can plug this result to here. And also I can plug sorry this result to here and the other one to there. So what is it going to be now? Delta P equals to 
एम वी माइनस एम यू आई विल राइट बोथ कैपिटल एम एस इन रेड कलर वट कैन आई गेट फ्रॉम हि नाउ अगेन फॉर फर्दर मो सिंप्लीफिकेशन I can get the common factor that red color one. Simple them out. And now open a bracket. V minus U. This is what finalized version of. change of momentum you might think oh my god sir this is really simple what can you why can you say why are you just saying it like the king you will see how powerful this king is very soon you will immediately see how powerful this king is the same can be another king if you don't understand this copy this only one minute for you Okay, I think I gave you enough time. Lamai, I want to talk to you firstly because I was just teaching and teaching and teaching for many long time. Your head might be spinning now. Yeah, mane. But I did it in a straight trot. Firstly, I wanted to show you my working method. I don't want to grab the students by just showing them in a certain simple things and just showing off like so saying that. Sugar, sugar water things. No, I firstly saw this is how I am. Actually, I am a kind of teacher. Sometimes I do four straight hours, straight away work and work and work and work. My students know if the lesson is a really lighter one, and I do some jobs and stuff. That's my nature. Firstly, I show you what type of devil am I, right? ो to give you some kind of brain refreshment because this next point is really important let's talk for a bit while that's why i didn't add three meditated ones there because i want to draw everything and show you how does it move hmm now i just drop a text and let me know am i clear for you am i understand just the text saying yes or oh, very badly no i didn't get anything it's really horrible you can also say like that <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as you say they like yes i got like five yes so far if anybody say like it's really horrible it doesn't matter man Good. So I have to tell you one important thing. In your questions, you will find some tricky ones. Tricky ones means actually it shows something and give you another thing. 
Hence, there is a Singhala saying called Nangi Penala Akka Denama. That means if there is a very beautiful younger sister, they saw the younger sister, but the guy has to marry the ugly elder sister. It's like that. So the questions are also like that, man. There are some kind of tricky points. You see the question answers in the, mostly in MCQs. In your halfway stop, there might be a, an answer there. In your halfway, because you get like bewildered and you instantly get the answer. That's that one. That's the trap. Why are they trapping you? Because they actually try to find future engineers and future doctors if they don't have and future scientists and future teachers. Okay, if a doctor does one mistake, one thing, silly mistake in during a heart surgery or something, a one per person might die. Oh, an engineer does any mistake, like a, a bridge collapse or something, and like in uh, where Turkey, there was an earthquake and the building was not built properly, or oh, thousands of people might die. Oh, if a te future teacher does a mistake, thousands of students may get affected. Also, that's why they're trying to find now people with minimum mistakes, human errors, minimum human errors. So you have to pay more attention. They deliberately trick you. They deliberately push you to the wrong answer because why? If you don't have a full attention span, you might get into the trap. Okay. If you don't have proper concentration span, you are actually failure. Right. So if you have any of these, any of these shortcomings, please recorrect yourself. People can actually uh, program their brains. You might ask, well, how? Yes, you can train your own brain. You can train your brain. You can reprogram your brain. I used to do that. I am still doing that. Whenever I need to do something, I program my brain and do it. If somebody does it, it's called brainwash. This is a self brainwash. There are techniques. Okay. Let's go to the next very important topic. I told you types of change of momentum. Types of change of momentum. Put that. You will find many Vishana things here. Let's find. Let's try to find types of change of momentum. The first type. Hmm. I will draw the one. There is an object which has a mass of simple length. First thing is from stationary. Stationary to higher velocity. Higher velocity. Okay, let's reach to a higher velocity of V initially it was at zero. This doesn't move. This is stationary, can't move. But up sometime it actually achieve and acquire some velocity of v right in this case what is the change of momentum delta p here is a pi and pf pi f minus pi what is my change of momentum here mv minus zero Delta P is what? MV. Delta P is MV. Copy this. Only taking 20 seconds.
enough, no? I gave you enough time. Right. Now, right. Moving with some velocity of view. I mean, I forgot to put the topic heading here. Heading is uh, an object moving with the fast velocity, sorry, uh, with the some velocity and comes to rest. An object which is moving with certain velocity and comes to rest. An object moving comes to rest. Right. V equals to zero. Now there will be something you will see. The certain important thing here is you have to notice this. these are the areas you normally slip away final minus in a cell right what is my final momentum it is zero when the velocity is zero Momentum entirely becomes zero. And what is my initial velocity momentum? Mu. And you will get a result with minus Mu. Okay, sorry, delta P. What does this suggest? What does this minus symbol suggest? I would ask the question what does the minus sign suggest. Ah, what does it suggest? It might suggest something. Yeah, very good. Really good. And others? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Simply, we can write multiple answers for this one. Change of direction. So the momentum was acting to here. Now the momentum is to the other direction. Or oh, retardation. Right? Opposing force act on it. Anything is possible. Any of these three answers are acceptable. This is why the minus sign in stands for. Actually, the momentum is provided in the opposite way. Stop it. So the I saw you. My cricket ball thing. Once I pass the ball to one of my friends, he may hold it. Hold means he applies some certain opposite momentum to stop it. Copy this. This is still not the biggest problem. It's not the biggest problem so far. Mm -hmm. 
shall we move to the next point quickly another 20 seconds for you okay let's move to and the next one is the body body is accelerating accelerating from u to v and it reached to v sorry under some acceleration but what is vi Df. The same thing I will write faster. Vf minus Vi. Let's substitute what is Vf. Mv minus Mu. So the delta Pt is really simple. Mv minus U. Right. The similar thing. Quickly copy. We actually obtained this one in the previous even here also the same thing. That's why I'm doing it very fast. Ten seconds. I am I. Hmm. Now the next one is what? Decelerating. Rating. From. From U to V. U to V. Is smaller than of you. How does it going to be changed? Delta P equals to M, sorry, PF minus PI. It is the same thing, but this value, as I told you, value is greater. Right. But overall result, you might find out with if you apply some real value, you will definitely get an answer with the negative sign. Negative answer. But in here, mathematically, I can show it. Obtain. You will obtain a negative answer. It's the only difference here. You will get the positive answer. Okay, write this. Oh. 
to strike against a wall and bounce back. Strike against a wall and bounce back along the same path. Ah, that's the most important. Bounce back along the same path. Strike against a ball and bounce back along the same path. Hmm. This was moving at the velocity of V, sorry, U. And there is a certain wall there. Now after colliding against this one, this would bounce back. This would bounce back with the velocity of V and the same mass. So we have to draw, so derive an equation for this one. Here I will let you to do that. The I and BF. Hmm. I'll give you like. One minute only. Try this within one minute. After learning this change of momentum, let's go for calculations. Ah, by the way, I would like to know one thing. Did you get the tooth for today? No. Students are joining from many groups and might be some students say other friends say other link to you. And there might be somebody who doesn't get the tooth so far. Is there anybody who didn't get the tooth? If you didn't get the tooth so far, so drop a message to my number. This one. So I'll forward the to you if you drop a WhatsApp message to this one. Right. By the way, did you obtain an answer for this one? Did you get an answer for the delta P? That's the question. If you get the answer, send me the answer. Tell, type the answer and tell me. Very good, very good, very good. Others? Are you a girl or boy? So the name seems to be like a girl. I don't know whether a boy or even. Yeah, good. Others, is there anybody who got the answer for this one? One girl got the answer. Judith, she got the answer. Did others get the answer?
rumit R. There is, you have tried really well. You forgot one thing, I will tell you what to do. Okay. Others? Ramai? I feel like if you get an answer without wasting time, try to put. There is a one trick. You don't have that trick. That's why you. No, 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 no. Different, different, different. Change of momentum. Oh. Sikandar Rasa, she got the answer. Like MV, yeah, you got the answer, really good. Huh? What is that noise? Okay, so far I got two correct answers and one halfway done answer. Have a really good look at here. Write this thing. Write this thing in a triple star point. Very important point. Write this. Write this and do. The body is moving in two different directions. The body is moving in two different directions. Body is moving in two different directions moving in two different directions according to vectors what according to vector convention okay according to vector convention okay is there anybody who joined to my last Sunday vector class, vector seminar? Did anybody in this class join to my vector seminar? Anybody who joined to my vector seminar? Huh. I told you, this is going to hugely effect on change of momentum, I told that. According to vector convention, have to apply, have to apply along a certain one direction. Along a certain one direction. Complete this. Those who can't, couldn't get the answer, they just got stuck all because they couldn't deal with the vector. Now write, for the convenience, for the convenience, for the convenience, take final Direction as the positive direction. Because we take it like what? Delta P equals to a final minus a P initial. So for my convenience, I take final direction as the positive. You will see the importance of doing that because other way is also possible, but that is some making some mathematical errors. Not that error under your exam pressure and the stuff, you might find yourself in a hot mark. So 
it's better to you to take final direction as the positive direction okay so what is my positive direction this is what my positive then this direction is going to be the negative direction let me remember you the stuff in my vector class i show you if you are just begin to move from a point a to point b point a to point b you mark it like this type of straight arrow a to b but if you choose this one as the positive direction this is your positive direction you can never turn back this is what from a to b from a to b right now you are going to come back from b to a like this can you do it like this no you can't it is forbidden according to what this vector convention it is forbidden vector convention it is forbidden so what can i do i am going to get what b to a vector in the same direction it is coming from b to a now but my arrow can't change so if this one is b what if this one is going to be? this one is going to be minus p understand this one is minus p because of the opposite direction this is what we call vector convention then make up the mama saman about if i did this in the regular board would I be able to show these things this clear? No, never. What are they? Yeah. So we have to do the questions on the screen itself. Then it is going to be really effective. Huh. If you are doing that in the conventional method, we will waste our valuable time. As I told you. I am hunting for the workaholic guys, not the those guys who are just finding the class for just fun. I am a funny guy, but I am serious when I come to the work. Okay. Tell hmm. Now, let me introduce the final velocity, but it is MV. Final momentum. PFP is what? MV. Positive MV. The initial is what? Negative MU because I took the final direction as the positive. Hmm. What is it going to be now? MV minus R. Minus MU because now this minus and minus becomes plus. So you can get the M fact out. Marine, I hope you understood. I hope you understood this. Lamai, is there anybody who couldn't understand this factor? And how did I get this? You are the one who provided me the answer. You already understood yourself. I'm talking to others who didn't provide me the answer. And the one who got two minus answers in the answer, the, like 
So one guy just put the answer like here, like, like this way. Then that equals to minus mv minus mu, something like this. That one too. Ha, yeah, good. Okay, copy this. I will give you like one minute to copy everything. Okay, let's take an interval and join back after interval. By the way, do you need 15 minute interval or 20 minute interval? Just suggest me. 15 minute or 20 minute. Fifteen or twenty quickly. Suggest me. I can give you 15 or 20. Quickly, 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 quickly. What is the interval you need? 20 minutes or 15? I will give you 15 then. Okay, you don't suggest. So, what is the time? Is it now? It's like 23, I consider it like 25, and 15 means, uh, yeah, 10, 40, join back at 10, 40. Your timer now starts, and mute the meeting, and take quick interval, and come. Okay, I hope everybody heard the thingy. Okay. Guys, it's interval. Mute your devices and have it. Have your interval and come back at 10:40. I heard. Hope that everybody heard and even you can see that.
teach one and all simple stuff here after that we can straight away go for calculations and questions normally in the first day i teach all the theory and let them some time to understand the theory the second day or not i just normally do many questions right i hope you got the tutor and if you didn't get the tutor let me show you the tutor Did you get this tier? So, did you get this tier? The impulse and momentum thingy. Even here, I included all the vectors thingy and everything. There are some questions now. Actually, the next most theory is going to be this one. This one is the next most theory. You will see. Now I will firstly show you the way, then come to this example and ex explain that one. And we can go back to the very next theory called impulse and the law of conservation of momentum is to be done in the next day because we can't do the all this set in the same day, I can eat the all things within one hour and do it because it's useless. Because why? Momentum is part of understanding most of the theory in physics. Even if you are in the university, you will have to do it with something like what particle physics. Even if you are doing like very advanced physics, everything is all about momentum. Without momentum, nothing you can do. Even a photon contains momentum. Just a photon, energy photon, you might have heard of. See how how does it change every day? Possible theories in this one. And even you have to be really familiar with these words like impulse, linear momentum, inner cell force, external force, and inelastic and elastic collisions, all and the center of mass. So the evaluation questions, you may try these evaluation questions yourself to in this during this week as much as you can. In the next week, I will finish up the theory and finish those questions. These are actually this one. I add into really simple calculations. Firstly, very simple ones. Medium level questions. These questions are just medium level. You might see what? Medium level? Yes, these are medium level. The just theory we covered now. Just the theory we covered now. And after that, some long answer questions are included. Simple long answer. That means capital ones are there, simple ones are there, really hard ones are there. So some simple questions are there, you may try and this, this is something like the exam model. Last one is the only type, exam model type. So in my next few, in the next week, I will provide you all the hard questions in the world. If you do this setup questions, momentum is going to be one of the easiest lessons you will ever have. Okay, let's pay attention to write this and this one. If the uh, mass bounce back with bounce back with same path with same magnitude of velocity, same magnitude of velocity
I'll use the same color because it's bouncing back with the same velocity. Right. Mass is m moving at the velocity of u and the same mass of m moving back with the velocity of v. As I told you, sorry, the same velocity. It is v, it is v here. I'm going to consider this direction as the positive direction now, this one as the negative. Right. No need to waste our time. We can directly apply. What? Now. Minus mv, so it becomes what? Okay. Understood. I did it really faster. Yeah, now you can understand because I explained the previous one taking longer time. Now no need to explain this with extremely taking long time. Okay, I gave you enough time, I think. Okay, the last type of, the very last type of what? The very last type of? change of momentum. Now right, bouncing of change of momentum at bouncing of, uh, of an object, bouncing of an object against what? Against, sorry, bouncing of an object At an angle to the an angle to a surface at an angle to a surface this is how it may collide this is how it may bounce back for my convenient i will use similar angle otherwise it's going to be complicated for a level you don't find Different angle thing. With the angle of theta here, you will reproduce the same angle here and the object. Right, let's try to find. Right. Ah, you had a connection problem. Okay, try yeah. it. The collisions with Collisions of particles 
collisions of, part of particles at an angle at an angle at an angle to the surface right have a really good look at it. here see this one collide with an angle not directly like this not directly like this it collides with an angle and bounce back it is not perpendicular there with the same angle like hitting a ball against the wall like that Are there any Muslim or Tamil ones in this class now? Are there any Muslim or Tamil ones in this class now? Yes or no? Quickly, if yes, just say yes. Ramai, is there any Muslim or Tamil one here? Apparently no. Okay. So the reason is I ask sometimes I use some kind of rarely use kind of Sinhalese words. So those Tamils and Muslim ones just find it like very annoying for them because they don't some one they don't understand. They might think I am just explaining something. Actually, I don't explain anything in Sinhalese. So I guess sometimes I just talk in Sinhalese like for fun. Like that, mother gathi nera man bolen tamu lagya ho bosi ne ka an neva ke deva. Okay, now this is really important. You have to resolve. Okay, I am going to reproduce the same diagram there. Okay, I am going to reproduce here. Is there? Bit smaller. And a bit smaller, right? Reproduce to resolve the forces. But I may have a magic car about the return the panel of my pain on me. Now, what can I do? I can copy the same angle here. How? Because to this normal, this, if I draw a line, these two are parallel to each other. Between parallel lines, this is what. An alternate angle. The reason is alternate angle. It's an alternate angle. It's the same theta. It's the same theta now. Right. In my other class, what is my other class? Last Sunday, vector class, I taught this thing even because this is really important at here. What is that I taught? I taught that this theta thingy is really important. Why? Copying this. I told you that in my other regular class on Sunday, that seminar, if there is a certain vector here, if you want to split that vector, I told you a very simple method. There is a vector like V here, an angle of theta. How can this angle split? Like this, this side is closed with the vector. This one is what? Closed. I told you to use it closed. You can use it like cos. If the angle is closed, cos, that's easy to find out. So this one is V. Cos theta, this open side is going to be V sin theta v cos theta v sin theta v cos theta v sin theta okay that's the same technique i'm going to apply to here this is what v sorry u sorry v na u u Cos 
theta and there is what u sine theta i can also apply it here when it colliding here u sine theta this one this angle is directly there that is what v cos theta at here v sine theta v sine theta i have to get change of momentum in both the direction one is parallel to the parallel to the plane what is parallel to the plane at the beginning what is that p in a cell was what m u sin theta in this direction p f is m v sin theta in the same direction so you make it like delta p equals m v sin theta minus m u sin theta so delta p equals m times v sin theta minus u sin theta and that's what along the plane parallel to the plane now the most important thing is the perpendicular one this is what everybody now normally confuses around i am pretty sure now you are not going to confuse around because i just explained you the way it is as same as of the previous one as same as of this one so let me explain perpendicular to the plane perpendicular Cooler to the plane, perpendicular to the plane. How it's going to be? At the beginning, it had m u cos theta. At the end, it has m v cos theta. I told you to take the final direction as positive for convenient and the initial direction as negative for convenient. Delta p equals to what? m v cos theta minus m u cos theta. So what is delta p going to be? M times v cos theta plus u cos theta. Copy this. Copy this call. I'll give you like one minute because I gave you time to copy these other ones even. I'll give you like one minute. If you don't find like one minute is not enough, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Because the most important part, I have to finish it today itself. Impulse. Then we can happily do law of conservation of momentum at the very beginning, first half an hour in the next week, and do all the possible calculations for the rest of the three and a half hours.
Okay. I believe that I gave you enough time for you to copy this. Okay, Lamai. Let's go over the final most change of momentum. Right, this bouncing back with the same velocity with same angle. Bouncing back with same velocity and same angle. Okay, not going to waste the time too much, but important, very important. Same velocity of Q there, angle is theta, the angle is theta. Okay, now you don't know the method. Now you know the method, what's going to happen. So it is like just moving at the same velocity and bouncing back. Right? Okay, the same method, what u cos theta and here u cos theta again, this one u sin theta and this one is also u sin theta. I am not explaining again because I explained too much in the previous one. So parallel. Let's see what's happening with the parallel. Parallel, delta P, parallel to the plane. Let's see parallel to the plane thingy. What happens? This one is P, uh, sorry, MV, MU sin theta. This one is also mu sin theta. So what is delta p? Delta p equals mu sin theta minus mu sin theta. So what is it going to be? Delta p equals zero. No change of momentum along that direction. It is zero. Because zero only I care there, not? Both mu sin theta in the same direction, final minus initial. The similar value is like this. It's the same mass of what? Delta P is like x minus x. What is it? Zero. Now perpendicular. Perpendicular to the plane. How it is going to be? To there and back to here. First data. This is going to be my positive and this is my negative.
can you understand the finalized equation? One minute. I'll give you only one minute to you to copy this. Mm -hmm. One minute, don't like ten seconds more. Okay, now, now tell me, isn't that the change of momentum is the hardest part to understand here and most important part? Because you might say the law of conservation of momentum. The law of conservation of momentum is also easier than this one. So I have, to my experience, I have seen all the, most of like 99% of the students really wind up with this change of momentum questions. So now, write a very huge topic for the last topic for today impulse 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 what is impulse it is like just punching your friend across the nose of your friend so, Ekangi, Ekangi, hello. Can you? Ah, you are a Taekwondo girl, no? Karate. Karate. Ah, karate. Okay. So, when you throw a punch at somebody's face or any part of the body or the punching back, that's when you just unleash some kind of impulse, right? So, there is a difference between the impulse and regular force, right? For normally, we apply a certain force on an object for a long period of time to drag it or whatever. Start with time of t equals zero or some t1 and to time period of t2 longer enough. Longer enough. That's called what regular application of force. So it gets accelerate and the stuff really normally happens. But the impulse is not like this. Impulse is something, it is really sudden thing. As I told you, like instead of punching back, you hang it on a ceiling and throw a punch, even a boxing and cricket, even you put some impulse when you throw the ball. You put some impulse when you place the uh, ball by bat. You put some impulse, and when you car during a car accident, bullet crash, whatever, it is uh, impulse, sudden thing. Take 
place within some few milliseconds. So, impart certainly falls on this one under some time period of what? Small, very small, very small, very small time period. So, that is called impulse. Right? Impulse is something happened real soon, very instantly. It happens extremely instantly. Understand? Okay. Impulse is something that takes place really instantly, soon. Kapan. Okay, impulse, right? This the definition. Impulse is the product of force and time. Impulse is the product of force and time. Product of force and time. For collisions, for the collisions of two objects. Okay. Product of force and time. So, what is impulse? Impulse equals to force multiplied by duration of force. Duration force applied on some series. Duration. You have to write the duration of force. So technically I equals to F delta. I equals to F delta T. Let's see what is this hidden one. Have you ever heard of that Trojan horse? Trojan horse thing, I'm not talking about the virus software, the real legendary story of Trojan horse. It's technically, they just uh, kind of what? Gifted the wooden horse, it was a very big one. So they just waited until them to get drunken and sleep. And there were some soldiers inside the horse and they just came out of the stuff and killed them, killed the everybody in the fortress and captured the power of the fortress. That's a very nice story. Yeah. So yeah, legions, they are invasion by Roman legions. So it was really hard task to invade them they did using some trojan horse there is a trojan horse inside the impulse let's see who is that trojan horse this is a trojan horse i say that impulse is a trojan horse somebody may might already know what is that trojan horse this is a trojan horse Horse. That's a Trojan horse. Hmm. There was a movie even called Troy that is actors like Bad Feet. Hmm. Now, right, the force, right, this force, by definition, is the rate of change of momentum. Force. By definition, is the rate of change of momentum delta p over delta t. That's what momentum. And we just found the change of momentum. What is it? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just write it. Doesn't matter. I have to go for two objects. Collision of two objects.
at this when two objects collide on each other when two objects collide on each other collide on each other they impart equal and opposite forces on each other equal and opposite forces on each other due to newton's third law of motion so the graph can be represented like this over the time for a collision force over time that way the other one is f b so the same part c is just taking place for a very short duration of time there is a maximum amount and fade away and vanish kai ka apna vajan hote hain aur jaan ka hat de ke lane to hai na nahi that's what so the force the positive ends and the negative ends so if this one imparts a force of f a into the positive direction other one effects in the negative direction now copy this one <coughs> F P equals to delta P over delta T. So as I know, this one is moving with some kind of what? What is delta P? Equals to M C minus m u that's what my delta p so equation number 2 equation number 3 equation number 3 into equation number 2 you may get like this but the force equals m v minus m u over delta t equation number 4 right <clears throat> now substitute this to the equation number 1 this one now i'm going to substitute to there this number 4 into equation number 1 to make it like impulse equals to mv minus mu over delta t times delta t so delta t is going to get cancelled or i have to do some further simplifications to this one so it becomes m v minus u technically this is stands for delta v v minus u means i equals m delta v or you can put the delta outside i is what delta mv what is this delta mv nothing other than delta p isn't that what is this trojan horse what is this trojan horse now tell me what is this trojan horse so finally i can finalize impulse is nothing other than what impulse is nothing other than change of momentum so my trojan horse is none other than change of momentum 
what is symbols? This is Trojan horse. It is Trojan horse. Okay. Understand? Like this, copy this. Once you've done this copy, theory parts for today is going to completely over. There is one thing I have to draw and draft and show you, but I think today I told you more theory than enough. Like your head might be spinning now. If you want to try this theory not here and try to understand what is that graph thing I talked about. Oh, in the theory I didn't let me show any, but in the questions there is one. There is more than one. There are more than one. This is all about some metaphors using what? Impulse graph. This graph is impulse. This is not the theory, but I will roughly explain you that. Just write this. I'll roughly explain you and send you. Gave you enough time, I believe. So, the graph, this is not the theory. If you want to, you can write this quick. Take a screenshot of this one. I'll explain you this in the next class. Force versus time. There might be different shape graphs. Graph like this. A graph like this way. Or just a graph like this. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. The graph shows something important. What is area under the graph? Area under the graph shows something really important. What is that? Area is what? Area equals to force multiplied by time. What is it? Ah, F delta T. Again, that Trojan horse, what is it? Impulse equals to F delta T or delta MV equals to area. Right? So, impulse is equals to area or the delta MV equals to area. The Trojan horse again. It's so simple. It's very good. Hmm. This is all about. So this is not the theory. I will just give you the theory with some more explanation. So this is only for you to do the work because without this one, 
understand me? How can you try at least these questions? Okay, the law of conservation of momentum is another part of this subject. What can be done within half an hour? Because we covered all the basic about the moment. Come then within that knowledge, we can technically finish the theory by first half an hour. Then after that, three and more than three hours, it's going to be calculations, calculations, and calculations, exam type of questions, and my hard work sheet that I didn't send you yet. Right? So, I hope that it's the time to wind up the class for today. Right? So, I think it's the time to wind up the class. So, God bless you guys. Thank you for joining to the class today. So that technically, class is over. Okay. Bye, guys.